Welcome, everybody. We want to welcome you to the group. I'm Scott Patton. I'm one of the founders of the Fibromyalgia Support Group. And beside me here is Martin Patella. He's a health coach and also our co-founder. And we started it, I think, in 2014 or 15, somewhere around there. And we've just been amazed at how it's been growing. And we wanted to take a more active role in the group. So one of the things we're going to be doing is answering questions that we see in the group and also sharing, uh, hopefully, information that can help you. Now, we have a very specific philosophy of health and, in particular, why people have all the pain that they've got right now and the brain fog and everything else uh, and why that all is not really being helped by pills. But, and we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but we wanted to really start off by sharing the group's mission, and our mission is simple, and that is to restore vitality to you and to the planet. So Martin grew up behind the Iron Curtain, and in 1977, he moved to central British Columbia, Canada, and started working in the forest industry. And after three months, what happened? <clears throat> His benefits kicked in, and so... Martin, what happened when that your coworker said, congratulations, Martin, you've got all these benefits and you can go and do things? Well, yeah, I was a refugee. Remember, I grew up behind the Iron Curtain. So I came out wanting to improve my lot. But first of all, I came for freedom. So I was idealistic like you wouldn't believe. I totally idolized the free world. Anyway, so there I was in a unionized job with a full coverage, medical and dental, and a pension. So if I had stayed there, I would have been looked after for life, maybe. But so when I showed up at the dentist, it would have been two years since my last dental checkup, because I was I spent nine months in a refugee camp back in Europe. And uh and uh, the first question they asked me was, do you have health insurance, dental insurance? And I said, yes, proudly. <laughs> I didn't understand that they thought, oh, yeah, <laughs> here comes golden, whatever you call those, golden fleece, right? Right, the golden goose. Something like that. Yeah, so you were going to um, lay the eggs. Yeah, I had a full checkup. The x-rays showed that I had weaknesses in my teeth and that I needed to have my teeth fixed up. I don't think that that was actually based on any science. I think it was just a selling tool because none of the other teeth ever needed repairs. So I got 12 fillings and I was told, do you want the composite, the white ones, or uh, are you okay with the amalgam fillings? I didn't know the difference. The amalgams were free. The composite ones were not. I thought, well, free is good. Right. They didn't tell me it was amalgam with mercury. It was silver amalgam fillings. But it's 50%. Mercury. Anyway, and then it started. First, I had my herpes outbreak, then my carpal tunnel kicked in, then my plantar fasciitis kicked in, then my back completely gave up. Then I started getting periodontal disease, and uh, I just went downhill. Like it was phenomenally rapid decline. Yeah. But by that time, I'd quit the forest three. I couldn't hold the physical job anymore. And I moved myself to a big city and got a career in computers. Because after all, I, I had a degree in computer science. I didn't really want right. to stay working in a sawmill. So you knew English? You had your degree? Well, by that time, I did. Yeah. By that time, I did. I had to learn it. And so... How was your health at this point? Well, it was pretty bad. I could hold an office job, but three, four times a year, I would uh, lose it. My back would go out. And when the back goes out, I would have to sleep face down on a rocking chair because I couldn't lay on my back. 
and I would roll off the rocking chair and crawl on all fours to the toilet, do my business and crawl back because I couldn't walk. And after maybe two to three weeks, that situation would somehow resolve itself and I could walk again. But a few months later, it would blow out again. I, at that time, I was seeing chiropractors because uh, that was the only way I could stay together. Sometimes they were able to put it back together. Sometimes it would last a week, a month. The longest I had was six months without going out. And then... So did you go to the doctors? Like, Yeah, my first one. The first attempt was I went to the orthopedic surgeon. I was referred by a doctor to an orthopedic surgeon. And uh, the surgeon said, well, yeah, that's plantar fasciitis. I'm going to give you a cortisone uh, injection, which he did. And for six weeks, I was great. Didn't feel the pain. And then it wore off and I was worse than before. Mm. And was, that was that. The, that. There was a suggestion that I could have a back operation. But the... Uh, the chance of success is less than 50%. There Not even is on. an insurance, there even is an insurance code, failed back surgery. Wow. So I didn't like that idea. By that time, I was starting to wake up to the concept of, well, there may be some alternatives. So were you in pain this whole time? Pretty close, yeah, pretty close to all time. Like, I'm really familiar with chronic debilitating pain where you're unable to just function, right? To the point where all you can focus on is the pain. And plus, of so course, the, sorry, the, the mercury to toxicity gives you some really weird changes to the brain functioning. So it's, it's really dark. Like, I was suicidal for years. Right. So you were in pain. You could barely walk half the time. Your brain yeah. was um, under attack, shall yeah. we say? Like, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and I, so I, was, I was learning how it came about, right? Like there's, there's, there's these, later I developed language for it, I learned the language for it. There's thresholds and triggers. Thresholds is how good your resilience is. How much can you take? How high is the threshold? And the trigger is that which hits you. And the triggers could be anything. It could be from the air. You inhale something, smell of gasoline, smell of tobacco, smell of perfume would set me off, give me a headache. Um, right. Even, even an oncoming storm, like a sudden change in barometric pressure, it's good enough to get to get a headache or just get so you're very headache. sensitive. Oh yeah, quite. So that's a very sad part of the story. The good news is you're not like that today, but what turned that downward spiral into an upward spiral? Right. Well, one thing is that I, I believe in agency. I believe in me not being a victim. Like, like I refuse to accept that I cannot do something about it. And that, that I think made the main difference because I decided to just study this, learn why is this happening? And what, what I, I mean, I'm educated as a computer science and business administration systems analyst. I can analyze stuff. I have the brain for it, but also the formal education for it. So when I analyzed the, how the medical system works, it became very clear to me that they never touch the cause, the root cause of the problem. Like I was being adjusted by the chiropractor to put me back together, not asking, but why is he coming out? I went to the surgeon. He gave me cortisone. He didn't ask me, well, how did you come about this? And the naturopathic doctor was no better. I remember I, I went there with allergies because that's I had plenty of that. One of the things that the mercury did to me was it messed up my gut. I had really bad leaky gut problem, which led to a lot of issues, allergies especially. And uh, 
Well, anyway, the point the point of the situation or the point of my tirade here is that I decided that I was going to learn what the cause is. So being the systems analyst, I figured it out. I, I suppose that's my lucky star. And later I decided to give up being the systems analyst and just share it with people, pass it on, show others what I've learned, which is if you deal with the root cause, if you take care of what's the cause behind the cause, you will actually get better. And the mainstream medical system does not do that. There is zero, zero chance that you can get a resolution going to anyone who's in the mainstream medical practice and covered by health insurance. Hear me clearly, zero chance of getting there from here. But there's an alternative to going to the doctor. Right. Well, there, there are functional doctors. The, the functional approach is truly asking the, and what's the cause of this question? They are, and they are MDs with degrees, whatever, but they're not insured. And the mainstream, they usually charge in the thousands. The typical uptake charge is about $6,000 these days. And they will run a bunch of tests. These people like to run tests, prove to you what is off and why. They, for $2,000, I can run all kinds of tests and prove that I have toxic metals and dysfunction and allergy and uh, this metabolic dysregulation, this and that. I don't need to run the tests. I know it by the way my body's not working. Right. It's, yeah. So what did you do to get out of this hole that you had found yourself in? Right. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I was truly in a hole, both mentally, emotionally, and physically. And I had this sort of uh, dump the moment, you know, hit the wall, finally. And I decided to walk away from chasing the therapies. I, I read a lot. I read enough to probably pass the naturopathic doctorate exam. And in the process, I figured out that it was indeed the heavy metal toxicity combined with industrial toxins in my body and started looking for solutions. The number one was zeolite. You should, you should have been there. When I started taking zeolite, it starts binding things that are in your body and taking it out. The smells and the colors of the urine that was coming out of me was just entertaining. The first five, six days, yellow first, then brown, then green, then blue, then red. They all came through. And on one day, it was the dry cleaning fluid. The next day, it was, oh, yeah, I remember I was washing these pieces of equipment in, uh, I think it was... Uh, Oh, gasoline. They gave me a bucket of gasoline. I was 15 years old and said, degrease this piece of equipment. I was up to elbows and up to the knees soaked in gasoline, right? I smelled that. All of a sudden, I'm back. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Right. So anyway, flushing that stuff out. Then I found Dr. Vickery. He formulated this thing called uh, Dox Aminos. And uh, that's a free form, free form amino acid combination. When your gut is not working well, you're not digesting properly, and you're not getting the essential aminos into circulation. So you need to supplement them. I did. And all of a sudden, my body started repairing. The discs that were wobbly and weak started strengthening. And all of a sudden... I could hold a straight posture. I no longer needed the chiropractic adjustments to, to, stay, to stay in balance. Yeah, it took probably about three years to cleanse and uh, revert everything, but it's sort of a geometric. So the first week 
is the most powerful and the first month is more powerful than month two. By the time year one was done, I was tested for mercury in my brain and it was down to 1% of what it had been a year earlier. Cool. Well, that's a good place for us to stop this, this part. Uh, what we wanted to do was introduce you to Martin and to myself, let you know a little bit about us. Well, I just wanted to, to go to one more point, and that is, in my opinion, which is my opinion, it's not a professional opinion, and, uh, and there's probably many people that would disagree with that, opin my opinion, is that people in, who have fibromyalgia are like the canaries in the coal mines. In the old days, they would have a, a bird cage with a canary in it. They would take it into the mine because if they hit a, a gas thing or something, uh, they wouldn't be able to smell it. They wouldn't know, but the canary would die first. They would see the canary was dead. They'd say, oh, we've got an emergency, everybody out, because it, it would blow up if there was a spark. Uh, and so, and oftentimes in those days, many people died in the mines. And I feel like, you know, we live in a society that we're pumping, you know, 50 tons of mercury into the air every year. We have who knows what in our houses, you know, what, what are the materials that we're using to make our houses, to paint, what's in our water, what's in our food. Martin talked about, uh, you know, the pesticides that they use, you know, what are the drugs that we're getting, you know, oh, I have a, you know, I have, a, I have this headache, oh, I'll take this drug. And, you know, why did you do that, right? We all know that it wasn't a lack of that drug that caused your headache. But we'll just numb it, right? So very much like when you're driving a car and the engine light comes on, take your gum, stick it on the engine light so you can't see it, and everything is fine until the car seizes up and doesn't run anymore. And so, you know, my hat's off to everybody in the group and everybody suffering from fibromyalgia because I know that you are, in my mind, you're suffering because as a society, we haven't been willing to do the things we need to do in order to build a healthy society. Because you wouldn't be sick, in my opinion, if our whole, you know, what you eat, what you drink, what you breathe, what you wear, the places that you live, they're all contributing to the situation that you're in. So over the coming months, weeks, months, and years, you know, Martin and I are going to get together. We're going to be answering some of the questions that you're asking, hopefully, you know, helping you feel better about your situation. We're going to be hopefully giving you some suggestions on how you can improve your situation. And we're both examples of people that were on a very, very, a me far steeper, I think, than Martin heading towards death uh, and reversed it. And you're on a very, very slow slope because none of you are in danger of dying. You're just living a very difficult, painful life right now. And we don't think that that's right. We don't think that... That's the way it should be. We don't think that you should be like this forever. People say fibromyalgia has no cure. We're not talking about curing anything. The only thing that can cure anything is our bodies. So if you have a lot of pain, maybe there's something that you're doing to your body that you shouldn't be doing, something that you're eating. And that brings up, of course, the big problem. And that is, you know, they always say, if you keep doing the same thing you've done all the time, expecting a different result, that's the definition of insanity. It is. So you're going to have to change. And that's not easy, right? Like people are addicted to Coca-Cola and people are addicted to smoking and people are addicted to whatever they're addicted to. And if you have to change that, it's a very difficult thing. So we're here to support you in the change. We're here to show you things that you can do that are going to help. Martin talked about doctors and the insurance covering stuff and everything else. So for you, it's free and you get what you pay for, right? We have lifeenthusiast.com, life-enthusiast.com. We have tons and tons of products there for all sorts of different, you know, health products, foods, uh, superfoods, vitamins, all enzymes, yeah. all that sort of stuff, right? And we're going to be telling you about it. And if, you're, if your answer or your response is, oh, I don't have any money, I can't do it, like, that's a problem. You don't have any money, and you need to figure out a solution to that problem. And that, because the doctor is just going to give you another drug that's going to give you another side effect, okay? So you have a fork in the road. You have two ways to go. And I'm not saying that you, you know, 
you have two ways to go, right? Like you can buy crap, you know, super hyper processed foods, and you can drink, you know, wine all the time or beer or whatever, you know, whatever the negative things are because you think that's try trying to help. Or you can make a change in your life, and it'll be step by step by step. No. It'll be slow because you've, you know, you've all yeah. take a long time to get here. It's not like you're going to be flip a switch and you're all going to be perfect and fine tomorrow. But that's our our intention. That's our dream. That's our wish for you all to not be in pain, to not be tired all the time, to not have brain fog, to not have all these things that are going on. You know, sore thumbs, sore fingers, sore arms, sore backs, and both of us are examples of people who have gone the functional medicine route and turned it around and been healthy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let me just say something here, Scott, on this topic. I have seen this come through multiple times on the forum, which was somebody saying, ah, oh, you bastard, you want to profit from us. You want to extract money from us poor suffering souls. Uh, I'll tell you this, anything that ever helped me, I had to pay for. I have a direct personal experience of having to pay for things that were worth doing. The second thing I want to say, you can join us, read the experience. I'm not forcing you to spend any money. I've given away plenty of the information. You can buy stuff anywhere you want, but I promise you that you have to do the steps. And we talked about the steps elsewhere. I'll say it here. It's toxicity, malnutrition, stagnation, and trauma. They will have to be resolved for your body to be able to heal itself. Scott said it right. We do not cure anything. We, do, we are not doctors. We don't treat you. We don't diagnose you. All we do is educate you about how to support your body to fix itself. You can do business with us if you want. You don't have to. I do not. Uh, let me say it even more directly. Anybody who starts complaining about our ethics is welcome to leave. Right. And having said that, we're here to support you in your growth and in your, uh, you know, in your movement towards a healthy life. That's our purpose in doing it. Unfortunately, there are many people who do the opposite. They don't want you to be healthy. They like it that you're not, uh, you know, living the life that you want. Yeah. Yeah. 20 years on Lyrica is a perfect solution for the manufacturer of Lyrica. Yeah. And you can be sure that they're not selling it for nothing, even if you're not paying for it, right? I mean, that's the sad thing. Like, I really think we should be talking to our congressmen and senators and saying, why are you paying for this stuff and not for that stuff? Why, when I go into a, a hospital, they serve me food that's going to make me sick? as opposed to food that's not, right? And these are all things that they know. They've studied it. Like they said, okay, we feed a whole bunch of people in the hospital organic food and, and good water. What happens? Well, they get better faster. But what do all the hospitals do? Jello, you know, some white bread, some gooey, gushy stuff. Yeah. And so, like, you know, what's going on? And I think we really need to stand up. I almost sometimes think this should be a political movement, Martin, where we just say, 100,000 people, here's a letter, send it to your senator and your congressman, sign it, and let's just cause a ruckus because we've been quiet way too long, right? This, But this is, you know, we need to change the system. But our goal with you is to give you information and share information. We do have a website. We do smell products on the website. If you want to support us by buying what we recommend from the website, we thank you. But that's not why we're here. That's not what we're doing. However, having said that, there's a lot of things that, like Martin is the curator. He knows all of the people that make all the stuff that he, we sell on the site. And he knows what they're doing and he gives them suggestions. We have a whole bunch of stuff we make ourselves based on 
40 years of experience with superfoods and, and magnesium oils and all that sort of stuff. And we, we do that because a lot of this stuff you can't get at the grocery store. You buy it at the grocery store and it's got who knows what in it, right? I mean, you start looking at some of the ingredients and then you go like citric acid, for example. Well, oh, that's just, you know, something from a lemon or something. No, it's totally different. But they give it a nice name like citric acid, so we think, oh, well, there's nothing wrong with eating that. Yeah, there's something wrong with eating that, right? Or dye, number red dye, or all, there's all these things that are getting stuck in. We often say, go around the perimeter, right? Produce, meats, dairy, don't uh, go up and down else because that's where all the damage is. So one of the things we're going to be harping on over and over again is what's in your fridge? What are you shoving in your mouth? You're feeling really stressed and you think a donut's going to help? No, it's not going to help. It might give you a moment to buzz or whatever, but it's not going to help. So you need to cut out the donut. And the other things we, you know, someone will say, oh, you know, I had a pie or I had this or I had that. And well, we're probably going to say that was why you had a flare up the next day, right? So, and that's another thing. Like, look at, keep a, Journal of what you're eating. Like, and you ate this and this and this. Yes, tomorrow you felt good, or you ate that, that, and that, and tomorrow you felt bad. Well, start cutting out some of those things. Anyway, we're planning to spend a lot of time giving you good information about how you can make a change in your life. And uh, we're starting with this video, and we appreciate you sticking with us this far. Martin, any last words? Uh, I don't want to stretch it. It's been long enough. I could carry on with so many other points, but we'll do that in some other conversations. One thing, come and join us on our Coach Talks. You will get a chance to interact with us directly, but you need to show up. Right. And we'll put in the description the link and the times, and uh, we look forward to having you join us. Thank you.